it's the underdog here and today I want to talk to you about efficient multiplications with fives, nines, and multiples of ten. Elementary Excuse the simplicity of this quick video as I want to test the water to see if it's something you guys would be interested in. So straight in. Whenever you're dealing with multiplication of a number by, say, 10, 100, 1000, there's a hugely simple trick that will save you time. Simply transfer the zeros. What if it's not 10s, but 20s, 300s, etc? Again, simply transfer the zeros. But this time, multiply it with the number that remains. You'll get the right answer every time. Figuring out five multiples for any number is almost just as simple. Firstly, use the tens trick and just add one zero to a given number. Then divide it by two, which gets you the same answer as if you added up the number five times, except it was a lot quicker and a lot easier, wasn't it? Now, finally, for working out nines, as you've correctly guessed, we make use of the tens trick. But instead, we minus one amount from the total, because 10 minus one is nine. But how can we be absolutely sure this answer is correct, especially if we don't have a calculator handy? Easy. There's the nines verification trick. We'll add up the numbers one by one. Three plus zero equals three. Three plus eight equals 11. But because we can't have a number greater than a single digit, we do 1 plus 1, which equals 2. 2 plus 4 equals 6. And 6 plus 3 equals 9. And we find that it's 9. This verifies the answer is a multiple of 9. This works with any 9's multiple. I'll show you all the 9's multiples before 100 on the screen to prove that this works. As it so happens, you can use this to calculate any multiple of 9 within the first 10 multiples off the top of your head. Say you have 9 times 4. The first digit of the answer is 1 less than the multiple, so in this case it's 3. We know the second half has to add up to 9, so we know the counterpart to the answer is 6, because 3 plus 6 is 9. We know now that 36 is a multiple of or 4. Let's try it again. 9 times 9. We know the first digit is 1 less. 8. So the counterpart to add up to 9 is 1. 81. That is the answer for 9 times 9. And yet, you didn't have to do any hard work calculating numbers or adding anything up. This is the power of the efficiency of multiplication. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, leave a comment saying so, and be sure to like and subscribe the video if you haven't already, especially if it's helped you out. This is The Underdog, over and out.